last year as well. Suffered just his first loss of the season last weekend against his cousin Isaac in the dual meet here at, against Wisconsin. Yeah, I mean, this is a guy, Bo Jordan, that's looking to win a national title. I mean, there's there's no other goal in mind for him, and he's out to attack early. Their head inside single looks to do, go to a cutback, comes out the back door, quick takedown, very, very nicely executed. There he's got the leg in, and this is where he's so tough. He gets this power half position from this parallel <laughs> ride and, and really turns a lot of guys, pins a lot of guys, and was a big point scorer at the NCAA tournament last season for the Buckeyes because of his ability on top. Well, you talk about being a point scorer and a pinner. He's got five falls so far on the season of those 13 wins, and he is so tough from the top position there. Is a, you know, we talked about his brother Mick wrestling at 141 pounds. Really a lot of action, continual movement, letting guys up, you know, wanted to get those moves in, you know, wanted to get those scoring opportunities on his feet. Bo is very content to, to get on top of a guy and ride him and continue to look for that turn, even though we see him give up the escape there with about two minutes left in, in that 2-1 lead. Yeah, where you see Mick is, is a little bit of a, we call him the mongoose. I would say Bo is kind of like a bull. And there, whoa, a, a big surprising throw by Fuller and in a, in a position for some back points and was looking for a fall. Bo instinctively comes out of it nicely, but, but not out of, you know, I guess a position where he's still completely in a neutral spot and there he's back to an escape and this match you know has some in increased intensity now because of that throw by Fuller. Full throw by Fuller two points for the takedown two points on the near fall as well he's going to take a five to three lead here minute 23 that's a position Bo Jordan not very familiar in being down in a match at all and you see again nice there post single by Fuller. There, good hips by Bo. Defense, one of his strengths. You see him stuff the head, cover it well, come to the near side, cover that head, and, and, and get a score. Minute seven left on the clock. I think, you know, Bo surprised by that throw, no doubt about it, as well as the crowd. Getting his composure back here, and, and really nice composure by Bo to stop that leg attack. 5-5 five, five now the score here as Bo Jordan looks to rack up some riding time here. Almost 50 seconds on the clock, but he's going to let him go. Give him that escape there and try to get another takedown here with about 45 seconds. See in nice on a double there, low double there, able to secure both ankles. Back on top now, 7-6. to six. Love seeing that type of intensity, that type of attack mentality out of Bo. You see him so heavy-handed. So where Mick is so quick to dart in and out, Bo so, so heavy-handed, so physical on, on his opponent. And, and finds an opening there when the opponent comes out of his stance. 20 seconds left here on the clock. Bo Jordan with the 7-6 to six lead. Also a minute 15 and counting on the riding time being built up here. But, yeah, that, that was surprising. And, and you talk when you talk about Bo Jordan, you talk about a guy who's very seldom out of position. He's always in that good position there, but was able to get thrown there. Maybe a little bit... Uh, Maybe just a little bit lax coming into this match. Yeah, I would say it's probably a, an indicator of, of him pushing so hard forward. So there was it was definitely a, a, mo, a momentum position where pushing so hard forward from that body lock, trying to, to be aggressive. And what happens is he ends up exposing himself a little bit, and, and you see Fuller there with a nice you know lateral drop. Yeah, Bo with that body lock there. Jordan with that body lock. Security loves to try to score off that, but Fuller with that over-under position. Takes advantage of it and takes a shot for the throw there. Bo Jordan lets him right back up and back to work on their feet there, 7-7 you know, seven, seven here. Bo looking very dynamic, very explosive on his feet. He's really looking as good as we've seen him from the leg attack side. So despite the fact that he gave up some early points, you know, from that upper body throw, he's coming back nicely and, and really be looking very aggressive here. He's got that half Nelson. This is where he pins a lot of guys. You see that half, and you see Fuller in some pain there. He's crying out, and Bo, he's, he's very methodical here. He takes his time, makes sure he doesn't give up any position. He's looking for that fall, and there it is. There it is. You see him, and he gets in that position. A lot of time left on the clock there. Really took his time. And I'll tell you what, you, you really saw the intensity ratcheted up there on Bo Jordan. Sometimes those throws really wake you up. I mean, you come into a match, you're a heavily favored guy, you want to go out and just kind of work things methodically, and uh, the other guy just doesn't have that. As you, again, you see that that happen so tight there. Pin so many guys, sixth ball on the season there for Bo Jordan.